What's going on YouTube? Hello my tackle hoarders out there. APFA back in the test tank and today for you guys we have the Runkle Probite Trick Worm. This color is a green pumpkin. I'm going to call this a little finesse Cinco style stick style bait. To compare it to something you guys are familiar with this is a standard dinger by Yum. And here is the Runkle Truck Worm compared to it. So you can see it's almost half the size. It's a four inch bait, half the diameter inside, but it's not a bad little bait. I have it in the test tank, I have it wacky rigged. I have it on a weighted wacky rig hook. I prefer to fish my stick baits this way due to the fact I believe it enhances the action on them. And hopefully the camera's picking it up nice. You can see all that wobble you get out of that little worm. I can't really remember what size weight this hook is. Maybe an eighth. I would probably go a little bit lighter for this smaller of a bait to kind of slow down that action. It's loaded with salt, so weightless, it, it's got a good sink on its own. But I really like it. Weighted. Really enhances the action of your stick bait. So this little worm here will be good on a finesse day when you want to downsize your presentation. This will be an awesome little bait to do it. You can also fish these Texas rig. There is a hook slot. I will show you in a little bit in the bait to help you rig it up nice and straight. But my preference for stick baits is to either A, wacky rig them like this on a weighted hook, or B, fish them on a shaky head. I feature both styles on the channel, so if you wanted to check those out, feel free to. But you get a nice little tight wobble out of this bait. Let it fall, let it sit for a second, give it a couple of pops, and then you get that nice wobble on the way down. Not a bad little worm. Runkle sent me to throw in the test tank for you guys. And I'm pleased with it. Fishing's been a little tough around here lately. So this is a good bait to have in the arsenal. All the stick baits I do have are going to be in that range of a standard dinger or a Cinco or an Ocho. Something along that way. So this wouldn't be a little bad bait to uh, wacky rig and throw out on these finesse type days. Wacky rig like this or Texas rig too. Maybe slow down the presentation on it. Texas rigged, weightless. But not a bad little bait for, for, for the action. It's got tremendous action, tremendous wobble on the way down. I really, really like that out of my stick baits. Like I said, go back on the channel, check out my other tank test of stick baits, and you'll see. I have a couple of videos where I compare a couple of baits, weightless to weighted, and you can see the big difference in there. So like I said, not bad. I'm a power fisherman, so I like the fall rate on this. Pop, pop. You know, change up your cadence a little bit. It'll get bit for sure. I really like this little worm. I suggest you guys at least go to Amazon and check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Let me adjust some light here real quick. Hopefully we can pick this up. You can see right there, nice little hook slot in there. 
in between my thumbs to easily Texas rig this if you wanted to. Nice and straight, no problems. I'm going to get on out of here. This has been a tank test of the ProBite Trick Worm by Runkel, 4 inch green pumpkin color. It's got multiple flake in it, some silver flake, some blue flake, and some red flake. So I really appreciate that tool flake in my bait that sunlight catches it and reflects real nice. So be sure to like, share, comment, and most of all subscribe. We just passed 400, so I appreciate you guys helping me out there. Let's keep up the good work, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.